previous video entitled Quantum Mechanical Model of the Atom, I had you build a foldable with all these notes that you see behind me, uh, the four quantum numbers that help locate an electron around the center of the atom, um, the orbital diagram that can be built from those four quantum numbers that includes all the orbitals and all the orientations of each orbital, and then the electron cloud model, which shows you an example of where you might find different electrons around the center of an atom. In this case, I stopped with the neon atom and the location of those electrons and their different orbitals around that nucleus. In that foldable, you wrote electron configurations, orbital diagrams, noble gas electron configurations, and valence for the elements hydrogen to neon and from sodium to iron. If you have a hard time including all these orbital diagrams in your foldable the way it's built, you can add an addendum page. So on this page here where you have a blank orbital diagram, you can leave it blank and then tape a half a sheet of piece of computer paper that you can then do hydrogen all the way to iron's orbital diagram. Here are those electron configurations for sodium all the way to iron, the orbital diagrams for those elements, the noble gas configuration for those elements, and the valence that those elements have. What I'm going to have you do next is take all those noble gas configurations and grab your gigantic periodic table that we made before and we're going to add those into each box so that you can see that there's a pattern that you can use to predict the configuration of any element on the entire periodic table. Here's what your periodic table looks like. What you'll need to do next is fill in the electron configuration underneath the element symbol for the elements that we've already done, hydrogen all the way to iron, and that will get you to here. After that, you have to use an orbital diagram, or maybe you can start to predict the configurations of the rest of the elements using that off ball principle, which means building up or construction. And what you'll need to do also is label those gaps with some helpful hints as to which orbital you're filling. For example, F will be 4F and 5F, D will be 3, 4, 5, and 60, and then P will go back to being the typical period numbers of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Once you've done that, you should also see that the section over here is all S electrons, which hold two electrons total, two columns. These will be your F, 14. These will be your D, a total of 10. And these will be your P, a total of 6. Once you've seen that pattern, you should be able to predict the electron configuration of any element on the periodic table. 